Hey there. Remember our last video on AC waveforms? Well, in that, we learned about, alternating current is periodically changing its magnitude and direction, flowing back and forth at either 50 or 60 Hz frequency. A full cycle starts at 0 degree, and finishes at 360 degrees. This is known as, single phase AC, where the voltage takes on the form of line to neutral voltage, or VLN. Single phase AC is usually used for smaller power loads such as the electrical gadgets we have at our home. If you enjoy the content, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell, so you never miss any update. Now, let's take a step further. We're going to look into three-phase systems, which are widely used in our electrical networks. Think of it like a teamwork, there are three separate live cables delivering power to devices. Each of these cables has their own voltage that's 120 degrees apart, and they all work at the same frequency. Because of the phase differences, the voltage of each phase is different at any instant. This creates a new voltage level known as line-to-line -line voltage, or known as VLL. You might wonder how the three-phase AC power is generated. Let's flash back to our previous video where we used a simple setup with a magnet and a pair of coils to generate a single-phase AC. Well, for three-phase power, we're adding two more pairs of coils to our setup and placing each pair 60 degrees apart. As these coils rotate, they generate three-phases AC waveform. We call each of them red, yellow, and blue phase. Similar to single phase, the generator needs to complete 50 or 60 spins per second to generate 50 or 60 Hz electricity, depending on which country you live in. In practical, a real three phase generator is more complex, but the core operating idea stays the same. The output of the three phase generator gets connected to a three phase transformer that steps up its voltage before it heads off to the transmission lines. Now, when it comes to distribution side, the three-phase system is systematically distributed according to electricity demand of different places. We can split the three-phase system into three individual single-phase systems, mainly to supply those places with lower electricity demand such as small houses and offices. They may connect to just a single phase either red, yellow or blue phase. But when it comes to those with higher electricity demand like heavy industry and large power equipment, that's where the three-phase supply comes into picture. Imagine heavy-duty equipment like big motors, pumps, boilers, chillers, elevators or escalators. These heavy-duty devices are usually designed to work with three-phase power because they have a more powerful engine to handle heavy work. Here's something interesting, in some homes, condominiums, and commercial shops, the electricity supply can be set up as a three-phase system. But wait, that doesn't mean every device inside these buildings needs to run on three phases. Instead, single-phase loads are spread out over these three phases. This helps because some places, like stores with big machines or homes with lots of gadgets, need more power to keep everything running smoothly. To give you an idea, imagine you have a 60 amps three-phase supply. That's three times the power capacity of a 60 amp single phase. It's like having three powerful streams of electricity, each delivering up to 60 amps, ready to supply more single phase equipment. So far, we have seen how three phase AC is generated and distributed. But why not we just use three separate single phase, but complicate things with a three phase system? Let's discover the practical reasons that drive their adoption. One primary factor is that the three-phase system uses less conductor. In a single-phase system, you have got two-wire configuration, one live wire, serving as the power supply, and one neutral wire, for return to complete the circuit. On the other hand, the three-phase system can adopt a three-wired, RYB, or four-wired, RYB neutral, configuration, yet it delivers three times the power of a single-phase system. So, if you wanted the same amount of power with single phase, you'd need three separate setups, using six wires in total. That's where the three-phase system shines, it's more economically efficient, using fewer wires and making it a smarter choice. Another significant advantage of three-phase system lies in the 
motor operation. A three-phase induction motor can start on its own. When connected to a three-phase supply, these motors can independently generate a self-rotating magnetic field, allowing them to initiate autonomously, without relying on additional components. In contrast, when a single-phase motor gets its power from a single-phase supply, the alternating magnetic forces cancel out each other, and the rotor remains standstill. This is where extra components such as capacitors come into play, increasing the starting torque to kickstart its rotation. That's it for today's video. I hope you have a clearer understanding of three-phase system. If you find this video helpful, please remember to like, subscribe, turn on the notification bells, and share it with others. Thank you.